Welcome to our lecture online and now let's travel to Stonehenge in England and here I made an attempt and I'm realizing in retrospect that I probably made this a little bit too small relative to the circle around it but that's okay I think everybody can look at that and go I think I know what that structure is but what's amazing about it here here that there's no doubt at all that the direction and the orientation of this structure was made especially to coincide with the summer solstice in this case the sunrise of the summer solstice there was a stone place right here that will allow us that will allow the direction of sunlight to shine across the stone as the sun came up and shine directly through the structure. It was built in such a way that the sun could pass directly to the structure, to the back of the structure, on that one day of the year, indicating that this was the day, the longest day of the year, and that the sun would start beginning to sink sooner and sooner behind the horizon and start traveling further and further south along the eastern horizon, making the day shorter and definitely the temperature is a lot colder in England. Again, a tremendous monument known all over the world for that specific purpose. Of course, people revered the sun and revered the seasons and revered things they didn't understand, but knowing how important it was to their survival in their life and knowing the exact days when the longest and the shortest days of the year, year would occur. So here is another one of those major and most famous monuments in the world indicating that the structure and the alignment of these structures was in tune with those special events during the year, in this case sunrise at Stonehenge during summer solstice.